Hello, everyone. This is Congressman Mondaire Jones, and I am so honored to be with you all virtually to celebrate Black History Month. This month is an opportunity for us to look back on the history of our nation and honor the trailblazers who have shaped future generations. When I reflect on the Black history makers who have inspired my work and my journey to Congress, I think of folks like Thurgood Marshall, Bayard Rustin, Fannie Lou Hamer, and so many more. In each of their careers, they were trailblazers, leading the fight for racial justice, LGBTQ plus equality, voting rights, and so much more. While we honor the work of these leaders, this month is also about remembering those who didn't end up in the public eye, but nevertheless inspired and shaped those around them. For me, I think of my grandfather, a janitor who grew up in Jim Crow, Virginia. When he walked a dirt path to school, white kids would spit on him as they rode the school bus. Fifty years later, his grandson is now the first openly gay black member of Congress. I miss him, but I know that I'm honoring his legacy every day, fighting for the racial justice that my grandfather and so many like him deserved and working to ensure that everyone can walk to school and live in dignity. And as we work to achieve racial justice and dismantle systemic racism in every form, education must be part of this fight. From early childhood learning to higher education, I'm working to ensure students of color are set up for success and that they can thrive inside and outside of the classroom. It's why I co-authored the Universal Child Care and Early Learning Act with Senator Warren, so that no cost is a barrier to early childhood education. It's why I've introduced the Strength and Diversity Act to integrate our public schools and further the process of desegregation. And it's why I called on President Biden to cancel $50,000 in student loan debt, which continues to disadvantage an entire generation of young people and disproportionately burden black folks. As a proud member of the House Education and Labor Committee, I'm proud to be a leader in the fight for education equity and even more proud to represent an incredible minority serving institution like Mercy College which is leading the charge for more equitable success in college. This Black History Month and every month, I'm grateful for Mercy College's passion, perseverance, and partnership as we work to affirm racial justice and honor the legacy of those who came before us. Thank you so much.